Hello and welcome to a brand new vlog. This week I am doing a photo shoot for Squeezed and so I thought I would show you my favorite places in Victoria, BC to get your Instagram photos. And look at this backdrop. Oh my God, look at these gorgeous neutral grays. And could the sky be participating more beautifully right now? I mean, even if it was this gorgeous sky blue, it would be wonderful, but this, this sky is amazing for, it's like the most beautiful soft box for our photos right now today. So my first place, and actually one of my favorite places to get photos, in Victoria, BC is right in front of Ross Bay Cemetery, the beach right in front of here because there's all this gorgeous driftwood and these stones on the beach. And then I'm gonna show you all the amazing walls and, and stairs and things that you can stand on and, and work with as well. So this is my first place and one of the greatest places I think to get your Instagram photos in Victoria, BC. discovery coffee because this is my number two favorite place to do oh, get your Instagram photos only yeah number two? only my, oh, number two yeah my favorite spot is in front of Ross Bay oh we just yeah I like that, that. Yeah. yeah I like the drift she, there. she was shooting some b-roll out here and I snuck <laughs> up behind her and scared the heck out of her so. this is Al Smith you have to watch his vlog it's so great <laughs> so kind of perfect that you uh, and we're like this close to starting up again hey because I've been I haven't vlogged for I know four months, so sad so, I have nothing to watch right now yeah well it's coming yeah. Yeah. So I'm. So that's I'm what you planning. Said, like, last month. Yeah. I've been saying to myself every that. week. Okay. This weekend. This weekend. This is my son. Or whatever. <laughs> every week I'm like, okay, I'm to shoot the, the intro this honest. weekend. I'm gonna cheat the intro this weekend, and I keep yeah. saying that, and I'm I'm this close because we have a lot it's to such, talk about. It's a, such a grind. It's a such lot a grind. has changed since four months ago. Well, we're excited to have you back, Al. Yeah, and I'll see you on Saturday, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. So this is our favorite spot. Do you do you know you know why it's. A favorite spot. You must know why it's a favorite spot. it's really good coffee? It's a great coffee. You can get a great coffee. And then let's talk about how many different backdrops you can get when oh, you tons. stop it. <laughs> yeah. Tons. So there's like, I think, five different walls you can shoot against when yeah. you come to Discovery Coffee. I think there's like a white wall. There's like four different brick walls. There's wood walls. You can shoot a really good coffee at a yellow table. Yes. That's nice contrast, right? Yes. White cups, yellow tables. Yes. So this is a perfect spot to get your Instagram photos and great neutral backdrops for your shots of yourself because you need tons of shots of yourself. So true. So anyway, good to run into you, Al. <laughs> good to scare you. Okay. Happy Halloween. See you. Bye. So wall number one, wall number one, black. <laughs> totally. There's like, I think there's like five different walls. Wall number two, wood. So these are all within like, 50 feet of each other, so convenient. And then right across the road, you have this fabulous white wall with all this gorgeous detailing. Don't you love it? It's so beautiful. Love it. Do you ever have enough brick? Yes. I didn't turn it off. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> and then gray brick, like, oh, neutral backdrop. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five. We've got one more. One more bonus. Bonus. 50 shades of gray. Can you ever have too much gray? <laughs> Another gray wall. Another great place for doing photography is Union Pacific Cafe on Herald Street. So the thing I love about Union Pacific is all this exposed brick and all the really cool, like look at those typewriters here. There's just so many great aesthetics in the background. Just makes for great photos, great backdrop, great lighting for your photography. Number three, 
Now the great place to take photos in Victoria is the atrium, especially when it's raining. We've got this great, well it's not raining today because look at this great light, but it's got these great trees inside and then these fabulous little places you can sit and then there's a beautiful little flower shop in here as well. So they also hold a lot of uh, fashion events in here. So it's not only me that thinks it's a great place to take uh, your Instagram photos in Victoria. Probably the best known place to photograph, do photography in Victoria is Fantan Alley. But if you look around Chinatown and off of Herald Street, right beside Union and Pacific Coffee, there is Dragon Alley. And it's way less crowded and it's got this great lighting above it. And it's a, it's a great alternative. And, and it's got the same narrow brick wall and everything and just way less people. So. That would be my recommendation. There's also tons of little alleys in and around Chinatown, so definitely check it out. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, isn't it? It's crazy. I wish I wasn't a local. <laughs> Okay, so here we are in Fantan Alley. There are tons of cute little shops. The best place is Kid Sister Ice Cream. They're open seasonally through the summer. And thankfully not all year round or else the, uh, that would be dangerous for me because I live so close. But see, this is a great, another great alley, but quite a bit busier. So it's great to stick to Dragon Alley across the road. So I hope I, you enjoyed this, all the great places in Victoria to get your Instagram photos. Let me know in the comments your favorite places to go in Victoria to get your photos. And if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up, leave your comments and subscribe for a new vlog like this every single Monday. See you next week.